everyone, Jerome here, and we've already gone through a fourth of the games that Santa brought me this year. Ooh. I wonder, nay, I shudder to think at what other games are behind these wrapped little colorful presents. Let's find out, shall we? Let's take this one, because it's got puppies and kitties on it. It must be pleasant and joyful like all little pets that we own right let's let's try it let's let's try this fourth game what is the fourth game the fourth game is the fifth element the fourth game is the fifth element i couldn't pick the fifth element as the fifth game i had to pick it as the fourth game my OCD's going foobar. <laughs> Anyways, let's try it. Or my name is not Lilu Ectagomet Blah 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 Lilu Minai Lilu. My name is not Lilu. Let's 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 try it. Let's try it. All right, let's do this. The fifth element: the awesome diva Blah Blah Huna song, the explosions, Bruce Willis as hair. Love saving the universe because it is the fifth element. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see if the game can do better. Or at least give us the same experience in a video game form. So, of course, the first thing is the ancients are shot down by the Mandaoshawans or whatever the hell they're called. And the fifth element's uh, hand is sent to a lab where, lucky for us and all of existence... Uh, such facilities existed in the future to bring it back to life. And, oh my god, what the Christ. They got Chris Tucker doing the menus. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Let's start the game off with Ruby Rod screaming. That is just awesome. All right. Well, okay, fine. Whatever. This is this looks dumb as hell, but at least it looks like a fun dumb, right? Oh, oh no. Oh no. You were so close. It's tank controls and weird auto aim. Okay. Well, at least I sort of know when I'm getting hit and where I'm getting hit from. That's sort of cool. And my auto-aim just, like, aims at everything. Okay, what the heck is this? Is this anything? No? Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. Let's, uh, let's find a way... Ooh, I can dive. Like a Max Payne or something. Except I'm Bruce Willis with hair, so I'm, like, Max Rogaine. Ooh, what's this? Floating... Th potentially a floating pickup. Ooh! A extra life! Nice. Okay, how do I get... Do I shoot the electric thing? Oh, okay. I just shoot the electric thing. Sure. Walk across the thing. Oh, it's it's. Oh no, no, not platforming. You guys have tank controls. I, you're expecting me to do platforming? Fuck's sake. Here it goes. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. All right. Oh, okay. Ship goes. Boom, boom, boom. Let's keep going. Oh, more platforming. <clears throat> oh, 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 that was close. A couple times. Let's go in there. And that's like level one done or something, or level two done, if I understand correctly. Ooh, oh no, no, I'm getting shot everywhere. This game is weird. It has checkpoints that get you close to where you died, and also any enemy that you've killed in your before dying. And even if you hurt them halfway, they're still halfway there. So basically, the enemies don't regain any health. So you could die. There's like five enemies you kill for. The last one kills you. When you come back, there's only one enemy left. So that's kind of convenient. So at that point, though, why not just make your health super long and not have you a lot of lives and just have like less lives and just give you more of a penalty for dying? What's the point of the live system if you're just gonna come back pretty much in the same place and do the same thing after two seconds of walking back to where you're from? Whatever. It's not like I'm a game designer or anything. Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> I'm such a snob. Okay, kill the enemies. Sure. Also, the enemies, they take 11 bullets to kill in average, and you have 10 bullets in your gun, so there's always a moment where you're gonna have to reload during the sequence where maybe it'll get back up and hit you, but they seem to recoil when you start shooting, so it's 
Whatever. Alright, the lasers. I'm not even going to touch that. I'm sure it's an insta-kill. How do I proceed? Can I just kick this thing? Uh, let's, let's kick again. Triangle or whatever. Oh, yeah, okay. I can literally just kick this thing. Alright. Well, that's my way to solve it. A puzzle? No, that's more from Bruce Willis's other movie, Armageddon, where you just kick things. Okay, what's this? Another life? This is shield. Oh, I have a shield. What do I do around here? Can I shoot this grate? What can I do? Oh, here we go. That's another one of those what the fuck do I do now kind of games, isn't it? So half an hour later, I realized that I just pressed by pressing everything. You can... You press circle. Circle is like the action button. It activates buttons and stuff, but I don't think you've had anything that needed input from the circle button. So just pressing everywhere eventually gets you to, to activate this robotic arm, and then you can go in the vent. The world's largest vents. And then uh, shoot this thingy. Turn off the uh, turn on the doors, rather. Or turn off the security, and then come back out. So it's not like a way to proceed. It's just a... There's a lot of backtracking in these levels. They're really like tiny levels. I guess that's one way to maximize your level length um, without uh, having to take too, up too much juice, but yeah. So you get the DNA key so you can recombine Lilu because in the game, uh, there's alternate scenarios to the, the movie scenario, whereas in the movie, Lilu just falls out of the sky into Corbin Dallas's uh, taxi cab. Because he's a taxi cab driver, but he's also an ex-space marine or whatever the hell. So that's pretty cool, right? How convenient. You fall, you land on the taxi cab of the one guy who has the training and wherewithal to, to help you on your deadly mission. But he's also single and uh, burnout, so what are the odds, right? So, but yeah, anyways, Lilu falls into Corbin's thing after being revived by the scientists. Um, but in the game... Corbin is the one who has to help revive Lilu by going to the lab, kicking everyone's butt, and then doing what the scientists were about to do anyways? I don't know, that's a really weird uh, adaptation to the levels. I've, uh, yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's kill these guys. Ah! Damn it. See, death is, like I said, is more of a nuisance because the enemies that you have killed just don't come back, right? The set design is kind of cool. I like this little lighting thing here. Alright, let's press a button, I suppose. And that's it. No fanfare. Alright, so let's uh, let's save and let's go to the next level. Yeah. Oh, continue and start level again is right next to each other. What if happens if you accidentally go start again? See, this is kind of cool. It's dumb. It doesn't really work in science, the whole recombining Lilu thing. But... It's one of those dumb sci-fi movies of the late 90s that it's creative. Back when Luc Besson gave a shit, not like with the, the latest. The Valerian was terrible. Ooh, they blurred out the boo, because you do see one nip slip in the game in the movie, but they blurred it out uh, for the game, so it's YouTube safe. Oh no, now you play as Lilu? What the hell? She's got to break into the police station because Corbin's been arrested? So so now you do a mission that is nothing to do with the movie. At the very least, you could somewhat argue that Lilu being helped by Corbin, even though how would he get the context? How does this work in context? Oh, it works because they wanted to have a level where Lilu walks around with her bandage costume. That's what they wanted. And she has melee attacks versus Corbin's gun attacks. So she doesn't have enemies that shoot at her. She has only enemies that melee her. So that's convenient. Also, I just noticed, what is that thing on the right? The, the green thing with the shining dot. It's not a mini map as far as I can tell. It doesn't show you anything. It's just a map. And it's not like a health meter or something because you already got that. So it's literally just a green shiny thing that serves no purpose. Ah, uh, yes. Entrapment with Katarine Zeta-Jones had just come out. So, of course... Skimpy outfits and lasers and crouching butts. That's what it's all about. I love that the base model for the cops in the game is the overweight cop in the movie. That's pretty dumb. The gameplay is really weird. Um, anybody who's behind you sort of has their AI like s placed to not attack you that much, it seems. Like, they'll attack you, but they're not going to be as aggressive as when they're in your cone of vision. Meaning that uh, you sort of get a break from it because all these things are like... Uh, 
Okay, keep here. Oh, no, that doesn't work. It says keep clear because you got to put your hands there and wait for the cops like in the movie. But if you... But why would you know to press to go towards something that says keep clear? Then again, maybe that says something about me and authority where I listen too much, but who knows. Okay, I do like some of the Lilu animations. Like, she's kind of cool, like doing these flippy things. That's fun. Kind of like the later Tomb Raider games on the PS1 where like everything you did was like a flippy thing. That's fine. I do love me some badass uh, action girl flippy thing. Okay, so cops gonna get kicked in the face, kicked in the face, get some. Ah, uh, that's another thing. The enemies are so long to kill in this game. Um, you down them like t five to six times before they actually die. That means about three to four hits uh, each time you down them. So that's like 15, 20 hits just to down a, an enemy. Why just not? You can have more enemies and make them go down faster. That'd probably be much more fun. Cause fine, whatever. It, it it's fine when it's just punches and kicks against an armor, like what's happening now. But um, when it's Corbin shooting and he shoots like point blank somebody, like let's say I get some of the bigger guns in the game, because it says so in the back of the box that you can customize weapons and not customize, but you can get new weapons. Um, what happens if I get like the Zerg, uh, the Zorg, sorry, Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg's uh, uh, super gun thingy that's like basically a needler from uh, Halo? Like, what happens when I get that? Do they take as long to kill? Ugh, this is so tedious. So I gotta hit these fuckers like 20 times each. Alright, let's get out of there. More of these guys. Alright, let's do it. So yeah, the combat's kind of boring on this one. It's not terrible, but it's just not, you know, it's, it's very tedious, but in a weird, wonky way. Where you sort of have a half kind of... Yeah. It, it feels like there's a lot of concessions that were made to make this game uh, 3D. Which, fine, fair enough. I really don't see 2D being uh, popular at this time. Even though it saddens me personally, um, 2D really wasn't popular at the time. So now I have to jump in this vent. And there's like these really weird jumps here. It feels really wonky. It reminds me a bit of Castlevania 64. Come on. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, let's let's try it again. Come on. All right, all right. Next. Let's go. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Whew. Come on. Because they're strafing left and right as like this flippy thing, and it's like more than just strafing. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, what? No. Ah. Okay. What's loading? <laughs> the game over cutscene needed to load. Okay, okay. Spoiler alert! The fifth element, unlike the movie, which is love, is not love. In the game, the fifth element is crap. Because it seems to be the overwhelming force that binds and controls the events and the characters in the game. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Santa could have brought me the good Bruce Willis game for PS1. Apocalypse. But no, the fifth element. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I sure did. I'll see you guys next week. Next week. Tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For another episode of Crackmas, please leave a like and subscribe. And bye bye